Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to St Peter's at home. And this is our last Zoom service for the year. Don't worry, we will, we will be back next year. We shall be using the Northumbrian order for morning worship, which begins on page 12 of your blue booklet. But before we begin this service, let us remind ourselves of the Holy Habits Prayer. So let us pray. Endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not disappoint us. Gracious and ever loving God, we offer our lives to you. Help us always to be open to your spirit in our thoughts and feelings and actions. Support us as we seek to learn more about those habits of the Christian life, which, as we practice them, will form in us the character of Jesus by establishing us in the way of faith, hope, and love. Amen. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. We have come together in the name of Christ to offer our praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive God's holy word, to pray for the needs of the world, and to seek the forgiveness of our sins, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we may give ourselves to the service of God. Jesus says, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. We spend some time in silence as we come before God to confess our sins and seek his forgiveness. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ have mercy. May the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the Lord for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and in our song will we praise our God. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O Lord, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our appointed psalm for this morning is Psalm 96, verses 7 to 10, and you'll see it on your screen now. 
Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have our first reading from scripture, which Veronica will bring us. The reading is from John chapter two, line verses 12 to 17. I'm writing to you fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, dear children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world, and its desires pass away. But whoever does the will of God lives forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Veronica. We're now going to say together the canticle on page 14. Christ as a light illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak in the mouth of each who speaks to me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me on my left and my right. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And now Heather is going to bring us our reading from the Gospels. The Gospel reading is taken from chapter 2 of Luke, verses 36 to 40. There was a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Peniel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. 
when Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was on him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Heather. And now I'm going to ask BJ to bring us a reflection for the morning. At the beginning of the service, Norma reminded us of the Holy Habits prayer. I want to remind you of the Holy Habits reading as well. From Luke chapter 2. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favour of all people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. I looked back over this year to see how many people God had added to our number, which has been a difficult year, but two people have joined our church. Two people that I met um, walking around the churchyard who've just moved into Chelliston and wanted somewhere to come. So that was really good. So that part of our holy habits, making more disciples, we're doing. If you look at page 24 of the notice sheet, Rachel, it's a bit, it could be a bit uh, difficult to see, but Rachel's put this which is the list of the holy habits on page 24, so that it reminds us of what we're doing. Bible teaching, serving, sharing resources, fellowship, breaking bread, eating together, worship, prayer, gladness and generosity, making more disciples. And I don't know whether I said Bible teaching, but I'll say it again anyway. So... I thought this time of the year, oh, Happy New Year's Eve Eve, by the way. This time last week, it was Christmas Eve Eve. But this time of the year is, is a time when we reflect or can we, we can reflect back on the year that's passed and what a year it's been. So I decided that I would look at our holy habits and think each one through in the light of that to see if I've grown into them. Although I feel sometimes that it's one holy habit with 10 dis different aspects. It's something that we keep in our lives and do. I discovered, much to my uh, chagrin, that I am not perfect. Um, I'm not even practically perfect. I would be able to sit here shining with the love of God and being extremely proud of, my, of what I've achieved and telling you all to do the same if I was. So then that would be the first fall from grace, or at least another one. The sin of being puffed up with pride. Not that there's anything wrong with being proud, as long as we have the humility to say, I'm no better or worse than anybody else. We all over this year, I would expect to fall in short of what God wants of us. But as God is very fond of saying in the Bible, we have grown. We've strengthened our strengths and conquered some of our weaknesses as we've walked together through this past difficult year. And we've walked equally importantly together. Holy habits are individual and corporate. As a community, we grow together, encouraging each other along the way. Sometimes we sit and reflect. And some aspects are things that we do without thinking about, already part of our lives. Others we have to make an effort at. 
going to read the little bit that's in the notice sheet as well. Holy habits is a way of life for those exploring or already actively living out the call of Jesus to follow me. It's a way of life for all ages and cultures, a way of life based on Luke's portrait of the community of followers of Jesus that we see in Acts 2, verses 42 to 30, 47. A way of life that nurtures whole life, missional discipleship, a way of life that when lived faithfully day by day and fruitfully, both personally and collectively, encourages others to join the adventure of following Jesus. The ministry team have begun to use these habits in their sermons and are encouraging us all to actively engage with these habits. There's a lot in Luke, uh, in Acts 2, verses 42 to 47 to think about. And if you look at each verse individually and then put it with the holy habit. There's a lot to consider when we go about our daily lives. What we really need is for those holy habits to sink into us, to be part of us, so deeply ingrained in us that we don't have to think, am I keeping my holy habits? Am I growing disciples? Am I Bible teaching? Am I serving? Am I sharing resources? They should be to all of us second nature, but that doesn't mean that we don't have to check every so often that that holy habit is still being exercised. So I'm actively encouraging all of us today to read the reading from Luke and make a note of the holy habits that are implied in it. It's an exercise that we've, as a ministry team, have been doing to try and look at what's in there that comes underneath the headlines of our holy habits. It can be quite difficult sometimes, but in the Luke reading, it's not too difficult. So it's Luke 2, 36 to 40, if you've not got the notice sheet to hand. I'm going to just leave a moment of quiet. If you've got the, the the uh, notice sheet in front of you, for all of us to consider those holy habits and perhaps scribble them down if you've got a pen. I'll perhaps read it and then you can, I'll read it slowly and then you can think it through. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to Mary and Joseph at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and the grace of God was on him. Let us pray. Endurance produces character and character produces hope and hope does not disappoint us. Gracious and ever loving God, we offer our lives to you. Help us always to be open to your spirit in our thoughts and feelings and actions. Support us as we seek to learn more about those holy habits of the Christian life, which as we practice them will form in us 
the character of Jesus by establishing in us, us in the way of faith, hope and love. Amen. What a wonderful thing to think that those holy habits will form in us the character of Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. That as we go into this next year with hope at our fingertips now that the second vaccine has been approved, we pray for each other and we look forward to the day when we can meet again in person and be our church once more in a building though we have been very much so church on zoom in our building and on the telephone have a wonderful new year and we'll see you then thank you very much bj So now let us say together the Apostles' Creed as we affirm our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated on the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we say together the collect for today. Say together, Almighty God, who wonderfully created us in your own image, and yet more wonderfully restored us through your Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as he came to share in our humanity, so we may share the life of his divinity, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, Amanda is going to lead us in our prayers. Unite the Christ candle by saying, Lord Jesus, light of life, you have come among us. Help us to live by your light to shine as lights in your world. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. Praise be to God in his great love for us. He has entered our darkness with his light. He comes as our God and yet as a child. Lord, help us and your whole church to walk as children of the light. Teach us to see your presence in each other and to be aware that what we do to each other, we do to you. We give thanks for the words spoken by Anna and the prophet, but above all, for the world, word made flesh dwelling among us. May your whole church proclaim this good news with joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, give peace in the hearts of all, peace in our land, peace among the nations, peace in our homes and peace in all our dealings, peace through him who is the Prince of Peace. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, born of Mary, you are part of the human family. You share our joys and our sorrows, our hopes and our fears. Bless our homes with your loving presence and be known with, with us, our families and our friends. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, you came down to lift us up. You descended that we might ascend. You became human that we could share in the divine. We pray for all who are down or depressed at this time. We remember the outcasts and the refugees, homeless people and street dwellers. We pray for the lonely and those who feel unloved. We pray for those suffering from COVID-19 and all those who treat them. And we particularly remember those who are ill or remembered on our traffic light friends. Lord Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, be born in us today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks that you have opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We pray for loved ones departed from us, particularly remembering Muriel Fessel, Brian Grist, Bill Seeger-Hillier and Andrea Atkinson. May they be one with you in your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Jesus, Saviour, child of Mary, you know us and love us. You share our lives and hear our prayers. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Amanda. And now I think we're going to sing the piece together if Rachel has the music for it.
And I'm going to ask BJ to bring us our blessing. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, fill you with peace and goodwill and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Just like to thank everybody who's taken part in our service today and all those who will or have watched it. And we all, all at St. Peter's, which everybody out there, a very happy and peaceful new year. Go in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>